why Evergrande right now is uh, put a halt on it and the CEO has been captured by the police. Why now? Miles will told us six years ago, even 2020, he said he will end badly. He will either go to jail or, or be suicide. He will die. Okay. He will be eliminated just like many other billionaires that has paid, you know, their life. The reason why is they had been playing the political game. Um, and that political games is um, basically drag them into this political fight. So Evergrande had a two bosses. And these actually are two factions within the Chinese Chinese Communist Party. One faction is Xi faction. She's a brother, okay, is basically the big boss of Evergrande. Oh. So Xi Jinping's brother, Xi Jinping, is the big boss behind Evergrande. But the second person that behind Evergrande is Wang Qishan's nephew, Wang Zhang's faction. Okay, so Wang Qishan and Xi Jinping right now are head to head. They are a life death race for power. OK, so although she is right now the president, but one is um, and Zhang faction is basically the most the biggest challenge of she. OK, if there's any assassination happens or mutiny happens, it has to do with the other faction. So now you see the two faction is fighting. So that's already determined um, Evergrande CEO and chairman's fate. Okay. How is that guy still alive? It seems like everybody that becomes a threat to she ends up taking a dirt nap. So his days because are numbered, said, huh? Uh, 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 the, this guy, this chairman of Evergrande serves Xi's brother uh, interests. Xi's brother is in the Xi faction, right? So she trusts Xi Jinping, trusts his brother, Xi Yuanping. And Xi Yuanping is the real boss of Evergrande. But unfortunately, Evergrande, just like a lot of the companies, a lot of business in China, they're serving multiple collateral <laughs>